How's everyone doing? Today I have five titles to show you, and they're all from 20th Century Fox. So let's check them out. And if you've seen any of these movies, definitely let me know what you think of them. First up is Alvin and the Chipmunks Chipwrecked, and this is the Blu-ray DVD digital copy combo pack. I've always loved Alvin and the Chipmunks ever since I was a kid. And this is just a fun animated family movie right here. It stars Jason Lee and David Cross. And some of the voice talents in here are very good. With Justin Long, Amy Poehler, Christina Applegate, Jesse McCartney. Remember that little pop singer kid? He's in here doing one of the voices as well of the Chipmunks. And Anna Ferris as well. Now the first five minutes of this movie was a little too fast paced. Kind of takes you out of the movie. But once you get past that part, it really becomes a fun, entertaining movie. It basically is about the Chipmunks and the Chipettes. And they're on a cruise. And basically they're playing around with the kite and they get taken off into the wind and they end up on a little shore area and they're basically on this little deserted island or so they think it's deserted and then Dave tries to go find them on kind of like a parasailing thing and then you have Ian uh, who's you know kind of like the villainous character he's trying to stop him and he gets like stuck on there grabbing uh, Dave so they both get you know sucked up into the wind as well and they end up going onto the island too and once they hit the island, it's a lot of fun. That's the best part when they're on the island. So many different pop culture references from Sarah Palin to Lord of the Rings. That's one of my favorite parts when the Lord of the Rings went, my precious, my precious. I love that part. That was really funny to me. And there's lots of great pop songs in here as well from now until back in the day as well. There's a little too many ones from now. There's a lot of ones, a lot of Lady Gaga ones and some other ones that I don't know, I just wasn't a big fan of. But I definitely will say, if you have kids, they will love this movie. And I did find this movie to be a lot of fun. I enjoyed it, you know, once they got to the island, that was the best part for me. And this includes an island adventure sing-along and one hour of music and chipmunk fun. And it has a nice slip cover as well. And I'm going to show you the inside disc artwork because it's really nice artwork. Very vibrant colors on the discs. And then you have the digital copy code. And then you have a coloring with the chipmunks, which is, I guess, an application you can download. And then you have some... Uh, other advertisements on here too for some water and some video games. And next up is The Sitter, directed by David Gordon Green. Of course, this is most notably known for being Jonah Hill's last movie, uh, where he's essentially fat. Now he's less fat. And it also stars J.B. Smoove and Sam Rockwell. And the love interest towards the end of the movie, uh, Kylie Bunbury, who played Roxanne. Oh my gosh, she was incredibly beautiful, and I hope she's in more movies coming up soon. And The Sitter is a Blu-ray DVD digital copy combo pack as well, with a nice slip cover. This is the totally irresponsible edition. It includes two versions of the film, the unrated and theatrical version. And when I first saw the trailer for this movie, I thought it was just going to be a rip-off of the adventures of babysitting with some crude humor to appeal to the younger generation. And that's basically what this movie is, but it does have some heart, and it does make the movie its own, and it is not a remake of The Adventures of Babysitting. They've been working on an official remake for The Adventures of Babysitting for years, but people keep dropping out of the movie, different directors, different actors, all kinds of stuff like that, so I don't know if that's ever going to get made, and I really don't care if it does, because The Adventures of Babysitting is a classic movie, an all-time classic. And if you enjoyed The Sitter, definitely go check out The Adventures of Babysitting babysitting, Elizabeth Shue, Vincent D'Onofrio as Thor. That is just an all-time classic family movie right there and a lot of fun. But The Sitter is basically the same thing as Adventures of Babysitting with crude humor thrown in there. But it is enjoyable and I actually enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. I didn't really think I was going to enjoy it. I thought, you know, it's just like I said, it was going to be a rip-off of Adventures of Babysitting with crude humor thrown in. And a lot of times these movies uh, that appeal to the younger generation they have all this crude humor in it. It just doesn't feel natural or funny to me personally. And I'm not really a big Jonah Hill fan at all. I really enjoyed Super Bad, but then that was kind of basically about it. But he's winning me over now with uh, The Sitter and then 21 Jump Street, which I also thought was pretty enjoyable with Channing Tatum. Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum had great chemistry together in that movie. But basically, this is about Jonah Hill. He's babysitting these three little brat kids. And, you know, you have the one little girl who thinks she's like a, a diva. She's like Paris Hilton. And then you have the other kid who's dealing with his anxiety and his uh, sexual identity. And then you have the little adopted kid who's blowing stuff up and acting crazy and rebelling and acting out. And he's going to go pick up some drugs to give to his girlfriend, who's just not a good person. By the end of the movie, you know, he realizes his error in his ways and they all come together you know they're all battling each other essentially and you know it's just a big love fest in the movie you also have method man in here as well it's nice to see method man in movies even for you know a little bit and jb smooth is always hilarious sam rockwell who played the drug dealer he's always awesome in movies i'll be honest i enjoyed the heck out of this movie it was a fun time i would recommend this one you know going into it i thought i was going to hate it and again the trailers just didn't appeal to me personally but i'm glad i gave it a fair chance and i would recommend this it is a fun time it's an enjoyable comedy it does have some crude humor but it does have some heart as well and next up Fern Gully The Last Rainforest I remember watching this as a kid I think it came out in 1992 
And this is a fun kind of animated family movie as well. It kind of teaches you about, you know, nature. And it's basically about these tree fairies that are living in the forest in Fern Gully. And these humans accidentally knocked down a tree that was holding this evil, I think it was called Hexen. Uh, this evil spirit who was trapped in the tree ages ago and you know they let it out and now the humans and Hexen are uh, trapping down the trees and the tree fairies have to stop them. It's basically a moral tale animated family movie. But one thing I don't get is on the back of this uh, they go over some of the voice cast including Tim Curry, Cheech Marin, and Tommy Chong uh, but they don't mention the two biggest voice actors in this Robin Williams and Christian Slater. To me it seems like that would be on like the front cover or something. They don't even list them on the back. And also has Tone Loke, the rapper Tone Loke, who's a great voice actor. He's been in tons of movies. But of course you'd put Robin Williams and Christian Slater uh, before Cheech and Chong. I mean, at least I would think so, or at least they would be there with them. I mean, Cheech and Chong are classic, but Robin Williams and Christian Slater, too, for, that, for this time and for this kind of movie, I would say definitely Robin Williams. So I was a little surprised they didn't have their names on this. But it's a fun family movie. If you have kids, they'll definitely enjoy this one. And this is definitely nostalgic for me because I remember watching it when I was younger. And next up is The Man from Snowy River. This is basically a family cowboy movie set in Australia. And it stars Kirk Douglas who plays dual roles. He plays two brothers. He plays one brother, Harrison, who's a rich uh, horse breeder. And he also plays the other brother, Spur, who's a bearded mountain man who's uh, mining for gold in this big cave in the mountains. And the movie starts out kind of sad. There's a father and son and they're, you know, they're chopping down trees and then an accident happens with all these horses come by and a tree basically hits the father and kills the father and the son has to go into the, the lower valley to find a job to work and he ends up getting a job working for Kirk Douglas the rich horse farmer and then he ends up falling for Kirk Douglas's daughter and so there's that romantic aspect to it as well I will say though I love movies that show the beauty of Australia because Australia is just gorgeous to look at and the cinematography really worked well for this movie I love some of the scenes where you're seeing the horses running by definitely an enjoyable family movie that I would recommend if you enjoy uh, cowboy movies or movies that just show Australia as well and it does have the romantic aspect too so there you go the man from snowy river and next up is the TV show The Killing. This is on AMC and it's based on the Danish show with the same name. Now I didn't know this was based on the Danish show until I watched the complete first season. I looked up more information about it because I really love this show and I basically wanted to find out more about it. Now I do plan to do a more in-depth video about the set itself and talking about the show more in-depth too because I think it definitely deserves it. But I know I've already looked online when I was looking for information about it. There seems to be a backlash because, you know, with, with anything that's uh, remade, that's done internationally, and, you know, the Americans remake it, there's all kinds of hate. But I will say this is an excellent adaptation. I really enjoy this, and you should definitely give it a fair chance. And if you enjoy crime dramas, this is definitely a show to check out. And this is one of those shows where you just watch that first episode and it just sucks you in. I watched that first episode and I had to watch six more episodes. It was just so enthralling. It's a very compelling show. And then the next night, I watched the rest of them. But this is one of those shows where you can just sit down and watch this first season in just one weekend, which is what I did. And this is a three-disc set, including all 13 episodes of season one, and it includes an extended season finale as well. And there you go. There's the two detectors on the show. Linden and Holder. But basically this is Sarah Linden's last day on the job and she ends up finding a, a body of a girl in a trunk of a car and she gets sucked into the case and she was going to be moving to California and it's set in Seattle but it actually takes place in Canada. That's where the filming was done. But it's, you know, it's supposed to be set in Seattle so you have all the rain which definitely adds a mood and atmosphere to the show. But like I said, she was going to move uh, to California with her fiance and her young son but she doesn't end up moving because she gets sucked into the case and goes on and on. It's really a riveting show. All the characters have great depth. It's definitely a show I highly recommend. And AMC just has so many great shows. Breaking Bad, Mad Men, The Walking Dead, and now The Killing. Very thrilling show. And I like how it shows all the different pitfalls of how an investigation could go wrong. And it goes in depth with the characters, not just the detectives themselves, uh, but the family of the victim, and as well as the different suspects too. Highly recommend this show if you enjoy crime dramas. Definitely check out The Killing. So there you go, there's the five titles, again, all released by 20th Century Fox. And if you've seen any of these, definitely leave me a comment or video response down below. Hope everyone's doing well. Take care.